here. I'm here to check out a baseball sports memorabilia show. Seems to be down in the very basement. You can already hear activity. Oh, here we are. Right over here. Somewhere. It's a creepy hallway. We're at the Comfort Inn here. This is where they're having the baseball, uh, the sports memorabilia show every couple months. And uh, thought I'd come by and check things out. It's a nice hotel. I mean, it's not, you know, five star or anything, but it's nice. See, that's where we're going. This is where we're going. The baseball and sports card show. All right. Oh, here's the barber shop. I want to get my hair cut. Okay. Down here in the basement. Basement level. Oh, here it is. Where is it? It's at the university room. Over here. It's in there somewhere. Mm, I can only shoot from out here. I can't shoot from inside. Anyway, there's the show. There's where the show is at. It's just a little room full of sports memorabilia, mainly sports cards. Okay, here at the university room. Okay, well, yeah, I think I'm done. I'm done. Let's go. Yeah, I got some good stuff. Got a couple of helmets and a couple of books. And, uh, you know, that's good. That's a good haul. And now, I'm gonna have some lunch somewhere. Well, maybe not somewhere, buy it somewhere and then take it home. Because, uh, you know, that's how it is now. This hallway kind of reminds me of uh, The Shining, doesn't it? Yeah. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. If you see, if you, if you see twin little blonde girls running around the hallway, or a little kid on a little scooter, run like hell. Come and play with us, Johnny. See, look at all the stuff that I got. I got a couple of Washington Redskins helmets, uh, mini helmets, and some Washington Redskin books. And uh, yeah, it was a good haul. These helmets are, I only got them for $20. I can sell them on eBay for $100. Huh? How about that? Well, here's my haul. See? See the interesting, the uh, beautiful haul that I got from the sports memorabilia show? I got a bunch of books and mini helmets. Here's a nice book, Quarter Black. It's about uh, Doug Williams, the first black quarterback in the Super Bowl. And here's a book about George Allen, the legendary head coach of the Redskins. And here's a Hail Redskins book. Pretty cool. Nationals yearbook from 2013. And some Redskins yearbook from yearbooks from 2006, 2010 when our head coach was uh, Shanahan. Oh, and this one I got because Riggo's on the cover. See, that's John Riggins over there. And hail to RFK. 35 seasons of Redskins memory. So this was a long time ago. Because the Redskins have been around for 88 seasons. And here are the mini helmets that I got. This is autographed by Kelvin Bryant. He was a defensive back back in the 80s. He was a very good defensive back. Here's another one. This was autographed by Jay Schrader. He was a quarterback in the 80s until uh, he was replaced by Doug Williams. I got these for $15 each. You see? I can sell these online for, uh, for $100. These are very much in demand, if you, if you know what I mean. 
Yep. That's my haul, baby. <laughs> Series champions, 150 dollars. <laughs> Little mini helmets up top there. They're pretty cool. Found this Ian Desmond bobblehead doll. I actually have an Ian Desmond jersey. Maybe I'll buy this. Except I don't know how much it is. I'll have to ask him. There's a uh, Bears helmet. I think that's Mike Ditka. Ditka. Buying these glasses too. This one I like. This one's 20 bucks. Maybe I'll buy that one. And the Ian Desmond one. So a bunch of these Redskin books here. Thinking about buying these. Look at these autographed baseballs. There's a Johnny Bench one up there. Look, There's Johnny Bench, man. Ninety-five bucks. Here's a Bob Gibson. Well, I'm back at the sports memorabilia store. I look for some more Redskin stuff. Oh. We got these old autographed baseballs. Ryan Sandberg, $100. Bob Gibson. Who's that? Lou Brock. Here's a couple of Bryce Harper bobbleheads. Batman, Batmobile, Hot Wheels, just like the one Lee had, isn't it? Yeah, so here's my haul from the sports collectible store. I got me some books here. Redskin books, more Redskin books, Redskin Country, Washington Redskins. These are all very cool books. I got me this, uh, this glass here, this old school Redskin glass for $20, but he gave it to me for $10, so that's cool. Oh, I got this. I got that bobblehead, that Ian Desmond bobblehead. He gave it to me for like ten dollars, so that's not too bad. Ten dollars. And then I got this Redskin football for uh, how much was this? Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five. But this is pretty rare. I can sell this on eBay. Somebody might buy it for like a hundred dollars, so that's cool. And I already have one of these. It's just in storage somewhere. And I just bought a couple of cases for my, my mini helmets. Pretty cool. That's my haul, man. That's my haul for today. Hello, everybody. Today, I am going to be taking this common, ordinary football helmet that I bought at a used sporting goods store. And I'm going to be custom painting it, custom making it, and turning it into a Washington Redskins 1938 tribute football helmet by using a regular paint and other materials that I found in the store. Because Washington Redskins helmets are so difficult to find and expensive now, I thought I'd just custom make one and see if I can do it, okay? So let's do it. The first step now is to sand it with this sander, just to sand it so that the paint can have a good uh, place to hang on to. So let's go ahead and sand it. As you can see, I've already taken off the uh, face mask and the inner padding and all that, so it's just the shell of the helmet that's left to sand it and then later paint it. So I'm going to sand it now. See that? Now it's all buffed and sanded and it's ready to paint. Use our spray paint and paint it. Okay, so 
Okay, now the next step is to put on the primer. I use this primer flat gray. Make sure you spray about one foot apart and don't linger on in one spot. You kind of have to move it left and right. And I got this uh, Lazy Susan here to make it easier so I don't have to move around it. I can just move the helmet around instead of myself. The next day. Okay, this is what it looks like. The primer with, uh, I let it dry for a day and uh, it's nice. I missed a few things down here at the bottom. I missed in the back. I missed that. And, but this is primer. Hopefully I won't miss any of the uh, main paint, which is what I'm going to apply now. All right, I got me my red spray paint here. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the primer yesterday, just smooth back and forth motion. And hopefully that'll be good. So this is what it looks like with the first coat of paint, first coat of burgundy paint. Uh, there's a little bit of droplet there. I might probably will have to sand that off once it dries. And another droplet, a couple of droplets here. I might have to sand off once it dries. But overall, I'm satisfied with it. First coat of uh, the burgundy paint and then tomorrow I'll wait for it to dry for 24 hours and tomorrow I'll apply the the second coat of burgundy paint. Okay, this is the first coat of paint and as you can see, I missed some hair. I missed some hair. But it's the first coat. I'm going to do the second coat of paint today. There aren't any bubbles or runs or anything, so it looks good. I'm going to do the second coat of paint today. Well, I hope I didn't miss anything. I know I missed some, some parts. Possibly the bottom part. Almost there. That's the second coat of paint. And tomorrow I'm going to paint, I'm going to lay on the clear, the clear coat. And it's going to look good. I promise you it's going to look good. The next day. Okay, today I'm going to apply the gloss clear coat. To give it that nice shiny finish, I'm going to apply two coats of these just to get it, uh, you know, that nice shiny finish. So let us do it now. Get ready for the clear coat helmet. Here we go, clear coat, baby. In the back, the side. Oh, I forgot to turn it over. Here is the face mask. As you can see, I've already painted it the primer gray, which looks good in itself. But now I want to paint on the actual uh, gray color, gloss color, the final color that it will be. Now I'm doing the back, the same primer color. Hmm, a little dark, but no, that's fine. You can go with that, right? It's a little dark, it looks dark back there, but because there's a shadow. See? All right, after a day of drying, this is how it looks. Looks pretty cool. Nice and smooth finish, burgundy finish. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the decals on. So, let's do it. So, here are the decals that I'm about to stick on it. The Washington Redskin decals go onto the side here these decals. So let's do it. So about, uh, yeah, like that, just about like that. And we'll just, we'll just stick it on like that. Make sure everything is all set. Oh, oh no, wow. Oh, look at that. Ugh. Look at all the bubbles that are forming. Ugh, I gotta get rid of those. Okay, well, that's how it looks like. You see that? 
with the two stickers already there I didn't realize it was gonna form so many bubbles because this is like the thin thin kind of decal that's not really you know it's mainly made for flat surfaces so I guess it will form bubbles on a round surface like this uh, well you know okay now I'm just going to uh, install all the hardware I have the all the screws and inside padding in here uh, to attach the face mask and uh, the chin strap as well and then we'll see how it goes well now I guess I gotta just figure out where the what what padding goes where this is the the top padding that's the side padding here's another side padding and this I guess is the uh, the back padding and then the front padding that you install in conjunction with the uh, with the screws for the face mask all right I put the clips on now I'm ready to put the face mask on to the helmet well there it is folks the finished product how's that huh uh, well you know it's not a really good job but you know it's better than nothing I guess there you go it actually fits me see that red 98 red 98 set hot I got to show you the, the warning label here. This warning label I added on, on there for more authenticity and the American flag. Now it looks a little better. What you think? Oh yeah, now I just need the NFL decal over here and we'll be good to go. What do you think? Looks good? I think it looks good, huh? Yeah, well, now looking at it, I think it does look good. Right next to my Redskins helmet, right there. The Redskins, uh, Redskins football is my Redskins helmet. Okay, cool. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. How does it look? Look good? Uh, no, I guess uh, from afar it would look good, but I'm not, personally, I'm not really satisfied with it. I made a lot of mistakes. I mean, look at all the, the decal. It's, there's a lot of bubbles and anyone know how to fix that? Should I put a uh, hair dryer on that to get rid of the bubbles? And then for some reason the paint job on the face mask, I don't know what happened here. It's not smooth anymore. And up here it's a little chip from me struggling to try to put it on the on the helmet. But all in all, I think it looks good. It's a replica helmet of uh, the Washington Redskins uh, tribute helmet that they wore a couple of times in 2016 I believe yeah well you know here's my Nats helmet that looks a little better and here's my uh, Redskins mini helmet autographed by see that? It's autographed by Jay Schrader yeah and here's and here's my uh, De uh, Ian Desmond bubblehead and my little mini batting helmet Washington Nationals batting helmet and my PlayStation 3 games this is my other helmet this is something this is a helmet I bought this is an uh, Riddell uh, helmet uh, Washington Redskins replica speed helmet I bought it for $250 and here is my Redskins commemorative football that I bought at Walmart many years ago for I think I bought it for twenty dollars today it's a rare collectible item you can find it on eBay selling for as much as two hundred dollars yep and here's my World Series bat and my other Nationals bat in the back and my Redskins books here all my Redskins books right there right next to the Redskins helmet here are my other Washington Redskins mini helmets. That's the more traditional helmet with the logo, now retired. And this was the helmet that they used between 1970 and 1971. Also a mini helmet version. And that's my old car, Toyota Celica. That's a, well not, not that car, I mean. That's a scaled model of it, of a car that I drove many years ago mini helmet and my posters of the Capitals when they won the World Series uh, the uh, Stanley Cup this is the Nets when they won the World Series 
the Washington Post. And here we have the Sports Illustrated covers from when the Redskins won the Super Bowl. This one was Super Bowl 22. That's Doug Williams, our quarterback that day. And down here is John Riggins from Super Bowl 17 in 1982 when we won that Super Bowl. 